My brothers and sisters in Islam, how is your taqwa? We are 12 days away and we will say goodbye to this blessed month once again. How is your taqwa? This is the most important element that you should have developed already in this blessed month. If you didn't, don't worry. You still have 12 days to work hard, inshallah. But remember, the main purpose, why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had given us Ramadan is to develop taqwa. Allah said in the Quran, Ya ayyuha alladheena amanu, kutiba alaykum al-siyam, kama kutiba ala alladheena min qablikum, la'allakum tattaqoon. Oh, you who believe, raise up your hand, say I'm a believer. Yes, Ya Allah, what do you want me to do? Fasting was prescribed upon you. It is an obligation upon you as it was obligation upon the people before you. Why, Ya Allah, why did you make fasting obligatory? لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ So that you may attain taqwa, develop this beautiful, beautiful concept. What is taqwa? Many people doesn't know what taqwa is. And the main reason why we don't understand these terms is that we use them a lot becomes part of our life as Muslims. Ittaqillah, when I see someone doing something wrong, ittaqillah, have fear in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We don't know really the actual meaning of taqwa. So it's, it's a good opportunity for us to discuss, to discuss briefly what taqwa is so that we can inshallah have it as a goal for us to achieve in the remaining days of Ramadan. Taqwa is that which you create as a barrier between yourself and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Anything that angers Allah, you will make a wall between yourself and that thing. That is taqwa. So when I tell you, ittaqillah, fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, doesn't mean uh, uh, scare, you know, b become afraid of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala should not be feared in that sense, that he's a scary figure. No, we fear Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his punishment, not because he's a scary figure, because we are ashamed of committing any sin against the Creator who had blessed us with so many blessings. That's the meaning of taqwa, is to develop, to develop that God consciousness in your heart. To be aware that when you are alone, when you are behind closed door, you are not actually alone. Allah is overwatching you. Wallahi, my brothers and sisters, uh, 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 yani, uh, a brother called me one day, and he was uh, of those people who I used to treat. And he, he was very, very, uh, you know, he was crying, he was angry over the phone. And I asked him, well, what's the matter? He said, while I was watching pornography, the door popped open. His, his room door was open in a manner that he didn't use to. He didn't get used to before. And when he looked, there was no one there. And I said, okay, alhamdulillah, no one, you know, caught you in the act. No one catch you in the act. He said, this is not the, the point. I was afraid of my mom. I thought that my mom entered and catch me, you know, uh, in the act. I said, so, so why are you crying then? She didn't catch you, alhamdulillah. He said, I was not afraid of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I was not scared of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. I was afraid of my mom, but I wasn't afraid of Allah the Creator who is with me. Because Allah said in the Quran, يَسْتَخْفُونَ مِنَ النَّاسِ وَلَا يَسْتَخْفُونَ مِنَ اللَّهِ وَهُوَ مَعَهُمْ They conceal their sins and crime from people, but they do not conceal it from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala while He is with them. The moment you can develop that, the moment you can say to yourself, no, Allah is with me, Allah is watching over me, that's taqwa, my brothers and sisters, and this is what we need to develop in the remaining days of Ramadan, inshallah. So your motto for this episode is taqwa all the way, inshallah ta'ala. All the previous episodes are to be found below this video. Inshallah ta'ala, I request you humbly to watch them, educate yourself, like them, share them with everyone, and inshallah, we'll see you tomorrow with another episode titled, Come to Him Walking.